Yo, what is up everyone? We are back with the ultimate controller settings. Whether you're brand new to the game or you've been playing forever, these things will help you win 20 times more games. I'm not even kidding. These things have helped me out so much. I'm winning way more building editing better than I ever could. So let's just jump right into these settings so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so jumping straight into the settings, we have our first two options here. I just keep both of them on. I don't think it affects too, too much because I have custom controller binds anyways. Edit hold time doesn't matter. I could have it maxed out or, or this. It doesn't change any part of the game because I have instant editing from my binds. That's just how it is. Slide hold time. I think if you have it 0.85 or below is the best. I can't go any lower than this. It feels like I'm sliding way too much. I, I just don't like it at all. Reset camera access doesn't matter. Vibration up to you. Your, your choice. This is a new settings quick weapon now i don't use it i think it's very bad i don't i don't find it enjoyable at all i don't even think if you got used to it it'd be good i'd rather just be using my bumpers to switch between my weapons i don't think this is worth it at all if you guys want to try it give it a try again these you can use my settings to get your settings these are my ultimate controller settings these are what's working for me so once we get down to the build and edit 1.9 build i think this is slow enough for i can still have nice precise builds everything will go exactly where i want it to Edit multipliers 2.5. Now, in sticky situations where you're up against the wall, having that quick sense helps so much. I think it's perfect. You guys can play around with it, of course, if you want to. And of course, we're using advanced options. And then horizontal and vertical speed, 43, 43 for both, with a 2% boost on both of them as well. It, it works so well for me. I think it's one of the best sensitivities. Most pro controller players play anywhere from 40 to 45 normally and some of them use boost some of them don't i think it's better to use boost it helps me hit like hit some shotgun flicks you know every time every now and again you need to ads speed is pretty pretty low some people think i think it's perfect it works great for me i can hit people flying through the sky i can hit people with far away like it's perfect six six with a three three boost it's just it's just the best bro. just try it try it out adjust it to your liking i'm going to show you guys how good these settings truly are once you find the right settings for you you'll be winning more games you'll be better than you ever have you'll be beating all your friends in 1v1s these are my best settings i've ever used you can use them you can try to adjust them to your liking whatever works for you now some things i didn't talk about that are extremely important is your look input curve i play linear i've played expo before it's very stiff you do get more aim assist though so if you think you need a little bit more of an edge or you just want to fry people a little bit more maybe play expo and your settings will differ a lot out of these ones these ones are strictly linear settings i think linear is the best it's the most common way to play controller and lastly what i was going to talk about is dead zone dead zone is very specific to your controller if you're using an old controller some the, sometimes the stick will get drift if you're using a new controller sometimes you can go even lower for me i found 10 10 on every controller i've ever used to be like the perfect perfect like middleman like it, it works on every controller I've, I've used to play it like six four but i stopped doing that because my controllers would get drift too much it just wasn't worth it i think 10 10 is perfect if you want to try going lower you can completely up to you and based off of your controller this is what i use this is what works the best for me i hit more shots build better everything jumping directly into our custom controller binds i do use a ps5 scuff controller so i do have four paddles your binds might differ if you play claw or you play no claw no paddles for me though i'm going to be showing what works for me with my four paddles i'm using a left stick edit which a lot of people use it's very common it's the it's probably the fastest way to edit to be completely honest with you right stick crouch kind of kind of common switch modes be, or uh circle which is my back paddle jump is x which is also on my back paddle toggle pickaxe is as well on my back paddle and then for build controls nothing crazy here change materials pretty basic build controls edit controls we have r1 confirm which it, some people don't use but i think it's just best for me i started using r1 confirm when i was no claw no paddle so i know it works for that my resets l2 it helps a ton especially because i have mouse click triggers on my controller so there's no delay when i hit l2 i used to use a scroll while i don't use it anymore i found it not as good for me I would spam it way too much and get in bad situations because of it. Now that I've shown you guys the best controller settings, though, I think we hop in and make sure we can win a game with these settings, or else I'd just be lying to you guys. So let's hop right into a game, try to win this game for you guys, and go absolutely nuts. Push? Am I drop? 200? 200? I mean, those were 200, but you know. I feel like these settings are still going crazy, though. I mean, we just hit two headshots back to back. Oh, good. There he is. There he is. Full box. Mike, I am moving. Where's he healing at? Yep. We sat him down, bro. We sat him down. Waited for the right moment. Push up while he's healing. What is he going to do? 
What is he gonna do, man? He can't do anything. He can't do nothing. This kid just come from. Dude, look at us, man. Who's spraying? Who's spraying? Tango spotted. When you're fighting someone like that that just wants to sit in a box, you just gotta try to trade that damage, man. You got to, it's all you can do. Hello, good sir. Full box. Like, look at that. I am just so smooth. I'm telling you guys, it's the settings. You gotta get on and try these things, bro. I'm not kidding. Please, just let me in, bro. There it is. There it is. Dude, we're just running through this lobby, bro. Nine kills right now. Top five. About to get a little win. Who's this guy? Fox. 135. Like, dude, look at us, man. And we just got... We just acquired a crown. Come on now. Four left. Let me make sure I win this game for you guys. Hold on, hold on. Look at us beaming out the sky, bro. Look at us. You can't tell me that these settings aren't the, are insane. I'm doing that with an SMG, bro. Box. Like, bro, look at us, man. We are just... Oh, my. You guys got to try these. You got to. Got to get on them now. Get them while they're hot. One v one situation, man. Where's the last guy at? Is he scared? Is he too scared? Found him, ladies and gents. He was in the bush the whole time. Wait, this is the kid that was running away earlier. This is the pumpkin head. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, wait, maybe. There it is, man. A little 12 kill win? I'm telling you, these are the settings to use. Of course, if you do use the settings, remember, settings aren't everything. You do still need to play, you need to practice, you need to get it popping. We did get a little win, 12 kills. So all I ask from you guys is a like, and if you just subscribe if you're new, all right? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one, all right?